G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, Mike Jones. I was trying to educate him yet again about how well the ISS, and indeed satellites, can reflect sunlight. So, I showed him these screen grabs from the AX-1 mission to the ISS just the other day. To which Mike replied this. I think Mike was being a dyke. I mean, Mick was being a dick. I mean, Mickey was being tricky. Yeah, that's it. So Mike, he took the bait, and I wanted to make sure he was going to play, so I asked him to do some maths, and to tell me the size of the Earth's shadow as the ISS is being eclipsed. Now, I know we actually call this orbital sunrise and orbital sunset, but hey, Mickey wanted to play eclipses, and technically it is an eclipse. In the description are a few really old videos of mine that show how the high beta angle stuff works too and that's really really cool and this happens in summer and that's both northern summer and the southern summer by the way too so then mike does as he usually does he asks a dopey question to try and get my attention it's very funny and very predictable and the modeling that mickey wishes for is already shown on various websites for iss tracking the first one that comes to mind is sat flare does this very well that shows you how much day and then how much night there will be for any given orbit. Mike tries all sorts of tactics to snipe me and... Oh, and he's a tad homophobic too. Such a boomer and kind of creepy. Do you think I'm ever going to get an answer, guys? I guess I might have to wait a while. Dude, just have a guess. Mike is still avoiding the question. Now these guys are just too easy, but be very careful if you mention Euclid. All hail the mighty Euclid. And now they all want a piece of me. Well, I guess that will kind of wind them up for a while yet again. Oh, this is so funny. I've even given them the answer and they still aren't able to provide it to me. Oh dear. I'll leave you guys with this video that I made ages ago, but I never got around to using. Now it's a whole pile of photos downloaded from NASA and they were taken by Christina Koch from the ISS. Now this is a high beta angle day, and it's also a lunar eclipse day. So some of the video is high res, that's the stuff that came from NASA, but NASA decided to only archive what they called the good photos, the ones with the moon in it. But I was able to get the rest of it from Christina's Twitter, but of course it's pretty poor quality. So let's watch and go ooh, and spare a thought for the Mike Joneses of the world who are totally missing out on all of this. ISS rocks. Thanks guys, enjoy. <laughs> 